Yo, what is up everybody, Mike back with another video. We've got a lot of new projectors coming in, Android projectors, DLP projectors. I'm not going to take a look at any of these today. I've got something pretty special for you. This box arrived in the post. It's huge. The Zakimi H1 is a 1080p native projector equipped with USB 3.0, a LAN port powered by Android. Get a clear aligned image in minutes thanks to its inbuilt auto keyframe adjustment. Learn more at the link in the video description. So guys, let's see how good this thing really is. I really need to get an unboxing knife because this is just embarrassing. I, I, I keep using this thing. So let me get into this and let me show you guys exactly what you get. It does feel pretty heavy. And so here you go. Here's the goodies. Now just looking at it without taking this projector out, you can see it's considerably a lot bigger than the GP90. So the first thing that we find is the instruction manual. We'll come back to that and take a look at it. But it's just a basic one. So let's get this thing out. Oh, bloody hell. It does actually weigh quite a bit as well. Oop, VGA cable lurking in the back. So let's get this thing out and we'll take a look at the actual form factor of this projector. It is considerably a lot bigger than anything I've tested on the channel. So yeah, and, it, and to be fair, I'm liking the shape of it. Now, I genuinely didn't like the GP90, the shape of it. it. It was just personal taste, but this thing I'm loving. This is matte black and it's got like a mirrored base on the top. So not bad at all. So yeah, here's a GP70. And as you can see, if I put it on top, you can see it's considerably a lot bigger and thicker as well. But you know what? Besides the point, instruction manual, it's all in English, not in Chinese. VGA cable included, just like the GP90. We also get the power brick. Will vary depending on where you are in the world. Um, and let's see what's inside here. Now, the remote. Now, the remote does actually look considerably a lot better than the GP90. Fully featured remote, including buttons for digital TV or analog TV, because it has got that input. I really like it. It looks nice. Very nice. Uh, also inside it, a little microfiber cleaning cloth, not a white flag to wave around. There's also a little fuse. Okay, so that's interesting. RCA cables again, if you want to hook it up, audio, video and all of that. And last but not least, you get a warranty card included in the box. Gives you all the instructions you need, how to register your product. And you know what? It's nice that it's included. Let's move on. So here it is, guys, your first look at the CL720. It's a matte black projector. And you know what? Looking at the projector from the front, it does actually, for me personally, personal taste, looks nice. If I'm going to create a home theater system, this is the kind of look that I would like dangling off my actual ceiling. Now, it's got a vent along the front. You've got your IR port. And it's got this big old lens cover on it. This is pretty damn big. Bloody hell. So this is like a hard shell plastic one. And I will show you how the actual lens focus works. It's like a manual focus. Along the uh, left side of the projector, you can see what looks like to me, like a 40 millimeter fan, potentially. I don't know what these square tabs are. It looks like they've been disabled. Maybe there's another upgraded version of this. Big old heat sink. And I'm liking this uh, groove texture on the projector itself. Let's take a look at the uh, other side of the projector. Now, again, on the opposite side, you'll see there's another big heat sink and another 40 millimeter fan really impressive but this is a big projector so it does need that extra bit of cooling but we'll see what this does to the noise level the base of the projector again you can see like a filter the dust filter sits under the uh, lens section and then there's another vent along the right hand side it's got projector mounts if you want to hit it up onto a ceiling i'll hit you up with links in the video description if you want to project a ceiling mount that's quite affordable and cheap and works uh, these little front adjustable feet now due to the size of the projector instead of just having a single threaded foot on the center of the projector on the base this has got one left and right so yeah you can remove them and use it to mount the projector top of the projector has got this lovely glass mirrored effect to it look you can see my finger wobbling around that's a really nice I, I'm, I'm really digging it now i should mention this actually illuminates in red and blue and the buttons genuinely feel much better than the gp90 or any of the other projectors i've tested on the channel nicely simply laid out source menu and your power button and your directional controls not much else on the top it just tells you this is a wxga projector led 720p hd now looking at the input selection on the cl720 got all of your rca inputs with the audio video two usb two hdmi dedicated power on and off button and it's got a 30 degree keystone correction wheel on the back as well so let's go fire this thing up and see how the CL720 performs against the VivaBright GP90. So what I've done here is I've hooked it up to my Android TV box. I've got this set up in my lounge. Now, because I haven't got the full two and a half, three meter throw distance I want, I've got my projector screen up, but I think we're going to go for about 105 or 106 inch screen. So here we go. Let's test this thing out. 
So here's the projector with the light on. Light off, light on. It's not actually bad. Now in a very well lit room, I mean, it might not look like it, it did quite well. As for noise level, it's about the same as the GP90, give or take about three or four dB higher, because the GP90 topped up around 41 in idle. So let's see what the gaming performance is like. So guys, now we've moved away from the big screen, we're back in the office, and I've got about a 65 inch screen, and we've hooked this up to the PC, and we're gonna see what the gaming performance or experience looks like. I'm gonna log into Steam, enjoy. So please feel free to laugh at how crap I am at MotoGP. I am not actually trying to do this. This is this is how I play, I, I just suck. Now, racing games is not my forte. And I don't know, what the hell am I doing? Uh, as far as, for those of you that want to play Call of Duty or anything like that, CSGO, the actual experience, other than playing racing games, you'll see in a moment, it should be coming up. And here I go, flying off again. Um, response rate is absolutely pretty good. And as far as input lag from the PC to the projector, it's not actually bad at all. Now, I don't know what this game is. As you can see, that's me trying to move the mouse to show you exactly what the response rate and input lag and all of that good stuff and see if there's any distortions. And there wasn't much at all. Now, I don't know what this game is. I downloaded it off Steam. Basically, you wander around the forest. You've got no weapons and there's all kinds of creepy things inside that want to kill you. So you just, all you can do is hide. The colours look good. Everything looks really good for the price of this projector. Let's give you my final thoughts. So guys, what do I genuinely think about the CL720? Well, I genuinely like this projector. Now, overall, the whole appearance of the projector for me personally, it does look a lot better than the GP90. As far as connection options, again, the CL720 wins again. I love the uh, mirrored effect on the control panel on the top of the projector. And again, this is a native 720p projector, so it displays a nice clear image. As far as the fan noise is concerned, it only came in about five decibel max over the GP90. Now, considering the large size, that's not bad. Gaming performance on this thing, it was really enjoyable. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So depending on whatever kind of game you like to play, you're in for a pretty decent experience if you are on a budget and you're looking for a $200 projector or £200 projector, depending on where you are. As always, links will be in the video description. Now I say this is a $200 projector. I have seen this projector go on Gearbest for less than 110 US dollars. If there is a projector you would like me to test, then leave a comment in the comment section and I will do my best to get one in. Until next time, my name is Mike, this is Tech404. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.